Hey, what's up, jabronis? My name's Meg, and I like building things in The Sims. Today, I'm obviously building a ranch. There are a bunch of different buildings on the lot, so I'm just kind of trying to map where those will be. Uh, these are this little roof here is going to be some greenhouses. And I did this whole build with no CC, actually. Um, so, and I think it still came out pretty realistic. I'm loving the horse pack. So it works super well with a lot of the base game items and a lot of the other packs. I use a lot of cottage living and growing together and seasons and eco lifestyle. Um, they all just came together really well to allow me to build this self-sustainable Colorado ranch of my dreams, to be super honest. Um, I live in Colorado and this is loosely based off a real home nearby. Um, it's got everything I wanted to include in this build and it, it, it was for sale when I was building this on Zillow. So if you're in the market for like a $2 million ranch, this one's available. So I'm working on just getting the shape of the main house here, but there are stables, there's chickens, we've got a cow, a little petting zoo, three greenhouses you saw, and a guest house, and like a vineyard situation. Oh my gosh, there's an outdoor kitchen in the backyard. Bitch, she's got everything. Uh, solar panels, wind turbines, water collection. There's so much, you'll see. I literally love this build so much that I've actually been playing in live mode and Cass. I created this little family with a border collie and a barn cat. I downloaded the husband from the gallery because I couldn't be bothered with that, but I did make the wife named Poppy and I used the little genetics tools to give them a kid and to make Poppy's father so I could get three generations in the house. They're the little feathers and I love them. But yeah, just finishing up this, uh, the basic shape of this main house over here with the roofing. Um, that's a little garage off to the right side there. I get a big front porch. And then back here is a little sunroom with a bunch of plants in it. And so this is a quote unquote double garage on the first floor. And then the second floor is like a little guest house. And the only access to that little apartment guest house is from those stairs outside. The barn loft ends up like that too. I think adds some realism to the lot. You can like rent out that space or have it set aside for visitors. Or if you have the butler pack, they could live there and they don't have to be like walking through the garage to get there. And then I'm gonna be fencing in like this whole side of the lot where all the animals and the greenhouses are. In my game, I like locked the chickens and then all the mini animals in the little sections on the bottom. And then I locked all the animals and everybody out of the greenhouses. And I was generally letting the horses and obviously the dog and cat roam around wherever they wanted. Um, but I had to lock all the doors to the house for the horse because you'll see later that that guy was just chilling in my kitchen for a while. Um, but the fences make it a lot easier to wrangle all the animals and having, all, having them all in different little sections with their own shelter works pretty well. And this is a little shed that like in real life would be a hay barn functionally. So I keep it near the stables and I stack a bunch of those little hay seats in there to make it look like storage. And then I also place the nectar making item in there and it looks really good. Um, so back to the main house here. Gotta have a cute front porch, babe. And uh, I did get those like stupid extra items for getting this pack by whatever date and it's like a little rocking chair and an old guitar so I put those on the front porch later. Super cute. And then I obviously wanted to try and use the windows from the new pack but 
they just didn't fit this house. They're too modern or not the right size. So I went with the classic snowy escape windows, um, which is another pack that weirdly works in my mind with Horse Ranch because like in my mind, Horse Ranch is pretty Colorado. And if you don't know anything about Colorado, we've got some pretty big mountains here. So all those winter and mountain sports that came in that pack are all super popular here. Um, I did actually build a few like modern mountain mansions when that pack came out, also based on Colorado houses that I found on Zillow. But those work more for like houses to visit in the game, I think. And this one is like a great one, like you can live on it, you never have to leave this lot. This has got everything you need. But yeah, here I'm getting that little, the little entrance porch set up on the side of this double garage slash guest house. And then this little building in the corner here is the shelter for the mini goats and sheep. Like I said, I just wanted them all to have their own space, like indoor and outdoor. And I was going to use that like solar panel roofing but it was ruining the realism for me a bit, so I changed it later. Um, but I put the hay feeder item in there and some of those new little hay rugs. It's pretty cute. And this new siding comes in some really cute colors also. I had my heart set on yellow for this house though, and um, this swatch is perfect. And some classic get-together columns on the corner of the house to help make it look complete. I'd like to do some terrain paint while I'm still working on the exterior of builds, but I just can't trust that it won't glitch and undo it all or half of it. So I leave it to the very end of the build, and some of the landscaping and stuff is going to look a little weird later, but you just have to trust the vision. And I wanted this um, garage slash guest house building to look like it belonged, obviously, but like it was built later, maybe for like extra big vehicle storage so I used some different siding and I do end up changing it to the yellow swatch but I tested this green out for a while um, but so that's why it's not the same siding then a big fresh driveway for the big garage and I do just a little terrain manipulation to have the ground like flush with the driveway and like the fake garage doors And here's like how I did how I did the fake garage doors. I used this wall pattern and then some columns and windows along the top. And then I mimic this same thing on the main house on the right side. And we obviously gotta have some red barn aesthetic for the hay barn and then the horse stables also. Classic barn roof shape. And like I said earlier, the top level is only going to be accessible from the outside, but it ends up being a decent size up there. But I do have to do the absolute most with this barn roof that I can manage because <laughs> the barn roof angle was not nearly enough for me. You know what I'm saying? So like the roof does glitch a little bit in the walls inside there, but it just looked a lot better to have the little bit of trim underneath the poke outs, dormers, whatever those are called. There we go. Look at that angle. Much better. And here's the little balcony to get up in there. I'm just copying everything over from the one on the guest house. The wood ceilings, oh, they look so good, jabronis. Okay, cute. So I've added some stuff off camera here. I've been in the debug menu and live mode, and I added some like ranch vehicles and a new little shed in the front. And uh, there's a cow now in the back corner. And then I also added a tree house in the backyard. And I filled the greenhouses with plants, mostly food and grapes. 
And here I'm getting the stables built. I have spaces for two horses. They have outside access and access inside for like the sheltered food and water that I place in here. Um, the new items are so good. How real do these stables look? I could have utilized the space in here better and probably fit like more stables for more horses, but I honestly like this lot has everything and I just didn't need it. So I'm just trying to use all the new stuff in here that I can just to like check it out. These ceiling lights are super dim for some reason, which is annoying, so I only use them in this building, those new ceiling lights. It's like no light. What is that? Just all the new stuff. And here you can kind of see the grape smooshing setup that I have here. Um, getting all the nectar items, except the bottle rack is in the basement, of course. There's also a flower arranging station, flower arranging table over here, just in case a Sim wants to make or sell some flowers. Gotta make sure the horses can stay cool in the summer. And here's that new um, hay rug item. Um, I think there are different shaped swatches that I just never bothered to look at. But I'm gonna finish up in here with some wall decorations and some scratches and stuff on the floors where the horses walk and then a storage box for poop, of course. And then we'll head up to the loft area. Okay, so here we are. Up here might be my favorite part of this build. I was like, what do I want in here on the top level of a barn with lots of animals around? Fucking goat yoga, jabronis. So you should be able to like bring the mini goats and sheep like in your inventory up here to hang out. I also put like a cat tower in here to encourage cats to come hang out during yoga sessions. Um, yeah, super cute. Amazing. I love it. There's a little bathroom in this corner I put with like the new wood shower and stuff. And then in the other little bump outs up here, I put, yeah, like a little punching bag and an easel. And then in the other one is the cat tower. Some speakers for some tranquil music and uh, some plants around. And then I put like a cute little spot to put your coats and shoes at the door. It's the perfect yoga studio and I will die on this hill. Love, love, love this space. Okay, so on to what will be a super cool backyard back here. Um, got the basketball hoop in the driveway, clothesline over there, and hot tub for wintery nights. 
Um, there's a fire pit, of course. Oh, horse. <laughs> and so over here is gonna be a super cool like outdoor kitchen situation. Um, I use like those pergolas to cover it and some half walls there to map out the counters so that it feels like kind of half inside, half outside. But I have two grills because every rancher needs a gas grill and a charcoal grill. And I placed a sink out here and there's lots of prep space. I know Sims don't need it for grilling, but can you imagine this kitchen in real life? Get the fuck out of here. All right, I also placed like a ceiling light out here later and adjust it to the pergolas with the tool mod for some gorgeous outdoor nighttime cooking vibes. Here's the second grill. You gotta have it. So cool. And then I had to get a fire pit out here. This family has all the good camping chairs, obviously. And then, so here's where I'm starting the landscaping. And I keep it pretty simple because, like, the landscaping on this lot is animals. Let's be real. Um, but yeah, here's where you have to kind of trust the vision. Because it's all going to start to look super weird without terrain paint. Um... And I mostly use like, you know, those regular bushes and some fern plants and some well, like lavender flowers. But yeah, get the new little fountain and the covered wagon. Is that Noma Pilgrim? Hmm. Yeah, there are the new like little bonus items, the rocking chair. Oh, I didn't put the, the guitar out yet. But then that bench is from Cottage Living. Looks so cute with the red door. And I had to use that medium height red door because I had to switch the walls to medium height. And I liked the Cottage Living one so much better, but it just looked weird and tiny. Pretty basic flower landscaping here. I'm going to do the same thing, but bigger on the other side. There's a couple extra flowers in there. Some bushes along the pathway. And here I'm placing trees along what will be a pathway. Don't get distracted. Focus on the vision that you cannot see. Anyway, since this pack and the update came out and we have so many more like native inspired items, um, my the family that I made, the Little Feathers, is native. And I just so happened to just finish an amazing novel by a native author. Um, it's called There There by Tommy Orange. If you haven't read it, highly recommend. Beautifully written story following like several Native Americans in Oakland, all trying to get to a local powwow and dealing with different obstacles in their lives and along the way. I'll link it below if you're interested. Highly recommend. Um, but. Back to the build, I finished the garage space there, just half of it's a storage hangout spot with a bar and a radio, and the other half I put like a workbench and an extra fridge and the brewing station. Really trying to push the self-sustainability limits in this build. But up here in this guest apartment situation now, I'm going for like a newer looking build, but like filled with maybe some hand-me-down stuff for guests that like used to be in the main house but they've replaced it since then or whatever and i put like minimal clutter in here and in the build in general um really just because there's so many items on this lot and, like so many functional items that i wanted i didn't want to test the limits by adding a thousand tiny clutter pieces especially in a space like this where the family doesn't necessarily spend much time um, but there are two bedrooms and a bathroom up here along with this kitchen and like living space next to it. So plenty of room for the whole family to visit. And I did put some like helpful lot traits on here as well, like the, um, the natural geyser or the natural spring water or whatever that one's called. Um, because I figured 
we could translate a little bit to how it works in real life here. So like here we'll have like a channel that was built to carry mountain runoff through to and like all of the ranches are built alongside of the channel. And so each rancher has a scheduled time when they can dam the um, channel and take the water and use it. So um, super sustainable and kind of wanted to translate that a little bit. Help the water situation in this build because there are a lot of plants. Yeah, just a couple bedrooms, um, minimal furnishings. Like I said, probably like older hand-me-down stuff that they didn't need in the main house anymore. Put like a little travel infant bed in here. Okay, finally back in the main house now. Still a horse in the kitchen. Tell you what, playing in live mode with this family, I remember why it's so frustrating and why I don't play it very often. My ranch hand is obsessed with making coffee and doing laundry and not with taking care of my animals. And my sims are freezing it in place way more often. I tried to hire a gardener and a maid like and only give the ranch hand the taking care of an animal's responsibility, but he just left early then. <laughs> but I'm basing this floor plan in here off the real house that I found in Zillow. So it's got like a closed off little office um, to the right of the front door and a closed off little living room to the left and hallways on either side to get to the big kitchen and dining room that runs along the back of the house. And a bunch of these wall, these base game wall paints are from the new update. Here's the new desk from the new pack, which I freaking love. Um, and I wanted like a lot of cozy colors in this house. I imagine it's like been here for generations. It's been renovated throughout the years and different family members have contributed to the decor. So lots of like mismatched wood and old things mixed with new things and stuff like that. This little office is just about complete here. Plants everywhere. And then here's a cute little entryway. Lots of stuff from the new pack in fun colors. Here's a little like semi-formal living room. Uh, I wanted to use the new couch. I'm so pleased to finally have nice leather couches in the game. Love the chair with the blanket and pillow. And of course I had to try and use this new piano. So squeeze that in here. Um, lots of browns, leathers, dark woods in here for those cozy vibes and a mix of like nice artwork and family stuff on the walls. I might have used that little end table too much in this build.
using these new counters in the kitchen. I love all these wood swatches. And the kitchen is obviously the biggest room in this house. There's lots of space for canning and big family meals and all of that. Uh, pay no attention to my cabinet struggles. I, I do figure it out in the end. Thank you very much. I'm gonna get a nice big island in here though. And I'm gonna use the cottage living um, appliances in green because I think it just looks so good in here. And with that gold sink, are you kidding me? little half wall over there to separate the dining room from the kitchen a little bit and I am using this new paneling as often as I can already I love it and add some appliances little coffee station here and onto the dining room um, with more stuff from the new pack. Again, colorful and cozy. Dark woods. Love these new chairs and the bar stools. Cottage living chandelier. And I do put a fish tank in this corner at some point, but it took me a long time to figure out what to put there. That's also a new item. Um, super, super great, super great swatches. Okay, and here's the little sunroom. Um, I'm just pulling out all the decorative flowers, all of them. Um, and this room is really just here to look pretty and she kills it. Um, there's like nothing functional in this room at all, but <laughs> she looks amazing. Um, so yeah, I do swap out that like all planter box item for the decorative flower table that you will see in the tour later. Um, I guess I could have put a cute rocking chair or bench in here, but it's just flowers and she slays. Okay, back over in this hallway over here, these little two by two rooms are half bathrooms. The first one with the slate walls from growing together is a shower room with a couple of these wall showers from Snowy Escape. And then across the hall is a powder room, um, just a toilet and sink. And I did make sure to put a toddler potty in there, um, just for gameplay.
hiding this kitchen trash can in the little mud room over here. Um, there's just more places for cowboy boots and flannels and 10 gallon hats here. Um, I also added the sign from Snowy Escape that you can click on to pick whether shoes are allowed inside the house or not. Little broom. And I love the new hanging clothes that came in this pack. They're so good. I keep the litter box in the garage, hidden from the main house also, but this next room is essential for my self-sustainable dream home. It is a canning and storage room. You'll see I popped into live mode and got Poppy to can a bunch of food and I filled those shelves. Oh, it makes me want to garden real bad. A little garage, just some random stuff in here. I think I put the um, water, atmospheric water generator in there, whatever it's called. Okay, but on to the basement that we needed specifically to age nectar. Is there a base mental mod update for us to call it wine in the game yet? Anyways, I put another bedroom down here um, and a little bar area with the wine bottle holders. Um, another card table, dartboard, foosball table. My sims have actually been hanging out down here a lot. Uh, it does end up with wood floors down here except for the bedroom. And if you download this from the gallery, there should be a few bottles of wine aging um, down here along with all those canned goods in the kitchen. Finishing up with some neon lights with this bar aesthetic down here. And we're onto the top level. There's the wood floors. Top level, starting with the floor plan. Um, the stairs come up to a long landing hallway, and there is a shared bathroom right here across from the stairs and a bedroom in each of the corners of this big square section of the floor plan. The primary suite has its own bathroom up here and that plus sign shaped room is a playroom. Same doors and archways throughout the whole build. And I was going to make this a big double closet, but then I realized that that is the perfect spot to hide the laundry. So I did that and I only put two hampers, one in each bathroom up here because laundry can be a bit, a bit of a bear to manage in this game. And you can see uh, like each bedroom has its own built-in closet as well.
pulling out all the beds from the horse ranch pack now. It didn't come with any new toddler or infant beds, so I'm just using these like a crass mini style base game ones in here. Because I wanted to have a bed for like all the different ages that there are in this game now. And like the changing table and whatever else the toddlers and infants need. So the new ranch house I put in the playroom. And then back to finish this primary bedroom over here uh, with the new wardrobe. Oh, and I love that little mirrored wardrobe. It's another one of my favorite objects. So good. And more of these end tables. Don't worry about how many there are in this build. Some wall art finishing up this room and then onto the second bedroom with a double bed. In my game I have uh, my main sim Poppy's dad sleeping in here but I also did place that newborn crib in here in case I don't know someone I just wanted to have one for <laughs> every age. And then um, mirrored, oh, the mirrored wardrobe in there. It's chef's kiss from the horse ranch pack. I hate that base game dresser that I put over there, but it's the perfect size for that space, that one there. It's so ugly, but it's a good size. And then here is the kids' room with the new bunk beds. I changed my mind about that desk real fast, but I was going for real bright rainbow unicorn vibes in here. And the last bedroom to finish is the little like baby's room in here. What with a bit of a dino theme. Pretty cute. Crib and toddler bed. Back to the playroom now. I did something different in each little section of the room. One has uh, space for video games. Obviously the dream home decorator tent takes up one with the new dollhouse. And then in the last section, I put uh, this little toddler slide here. Um, there's also books in here. Honestly, like a super sweet sleepover spot. Last but not least is the terrain paint at the very end um, so that you can see the pathing finally that I've been seeing the whole time. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like builds like these based off real houses because I love doing them. Um, this one is on the gallery if you want this in your game. My ID is the Megstar. You don't even have to include CC this time is coming up thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this build as much as i did please don't be shy with those buttons if you did see you next time jabronis